<laughs> All right, so welcome. We're about to have a pop quiz. And um, I'm going to be sharing my screen so I can play you. I can play you a clip. All right, beautiful. So let's dive into it. A street mom. Are you okay? Oh no, I'm tired. I'm done for the day, baby. Epele. Let's take money, share it among them for the transportation and food. Okay. Don't worry, mom, I'll handle it. Thank you, baby. All right, so this is the this clip. This is the one I was telling you about. This her. is it. It Watch will it. make you stand out well, well. It's very pretty. Mommy, see? Mm, yes. It's fine. But, oh, my God. Please, let's look at something. Hey, master, master, master. You can't go to the house. 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 Just tell God it is done. Are you the bride? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey. Oh, mm, mm, beautiful. <laughs> See, I need a lot more information. Where do she be a corny? You got the demand. She will pay a jack and one or zimmer with pay. Oh, my dear, love for more gold. Lama, the foundation, my last one. Shut up, me, you, you, my boss. Oh, so good, what's going on? Go support lying. Get the book with phone. Go support lying. Can you come closer, my darling? Oh, my thing, go on. Give me your hand. Beautiful hands. Let's look at it. Oh, I'm seeing everything going, everything going. It's Wow, Sherry, 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 Oh, you know what is good life. Okay. Oh, 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 can you please go into my office? Uh, when I'm done with my customer, I'll meet you in a minute. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ah, what's your coming? Kill us all. Eh, 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 Thank you so very much, madam. You see, I didn't come expecting to spend that much. <laughs> Money POS, no baggy any money POS. Bring the machine. Money, this place, shall it shall be a lane? Come in, a muck of a win. That's Bomba to my ex, the family. Just make her happy. Make her happy. Let's go. Okay. Hey. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> well you, done. Mommy. Well done. I pray you enjoy it. Enjoy your long fish of fun. Fantastic, but unfortunately, I have to leave you. I need to attend to the other guests. Ineka, the show and bag, don't forget to show them. <laughs> show and bag. <laughs> oh, am <and> goodness. <laughs> oh, am goodness. We enjoyed the clip. <coughs> <laughs> Oh my God. All right, so your question is, from the clip you just watched, how many of the 30 copywriting principles we have taught did you see in this play? How many? <clears throat> so <clears throat> let me call on someone to analyze, to start from the beginning, all right? <laughs> So raise your hand if you would like to analyze. You've made a note, so you'd like to go through what you have done. So Bolukwe, you are the first and I'm seeing. 
Where is your camera? <laughs> All right, so help us. Okay, I saw um, emotional selling. All right. She painted the picture of the product. You know, okay, she first painted the relationship between mothers and children. Um, about uh, how do I know? You know, like the thing of joy, the thing of peace, the thing of that, and she deserves to wear that clothes. So she first got that woman by doing emotional selling, emotional um, selling for her. Okay. Then she now started with the chingum closing, like, like okay, when she makes the clothes, this is what she will feel. Like the cloth is not going to hit her body and all of that. She didn't sound uh, like half a uh, craft. <laughs> I'm loving what you type. Well done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She cool. didn't sound. You have one. She minute. didn't sound like. Okay, she didn't sound like when you. Okay, she didn't. Sound like if you buy, it, she sounded like when you buy. It. These are the benefits of the cloth. Then storytelling. She did a bit of storytelling about saying I have two children and I'm also looking forward to this day to the day of joy and all of that. Then she did something irresistible, which is the offer. She said, my profit is just 5%. Just take it away. Then pay the cost price, which I know is a lie. So what copywriting, <laughs> principle, what copywriting principle was that? Um, bonus. Thank you. It's not bonus. It's actually promo. Promo, okay. But promo and bonus they are together, so they are hand in hand. I'm very happy that you got that one. Very, very. Then there was urgency, urgency and sales. You yeah. made it. Right. I've tried. Only you, only you should not talk everything. Thank you, Buruki. <laughs> uh, <right. laughs> you have tried. All right. Um, the next person I'm going to call. I want you to tell me the first principle she displayed. What was the first thing she did? when she started. I think the next name here is Daniel. Daniel Adetunji, yeah. Daniel Adetunji. How are you? I'm fine, so you have to All right, so what was the first thing she displayed? The first thing she displayed was attention. She was just coming from outside hearing their conversation. I immediately she shouted, don't say like, don't talk like that again. That is a mass of them. So she draw the attention of Everyone standing there. She moved closer, positioned herself as authority as if she's the one that is having that. So they were all ready to listen to her. And when she started, she started saying that she even give them prayers that <coughs> the, the way they are trying to say that there's no money in this and that, that they should not try to say something like that again. She give right. them. Hold on. Hold on. We would like to watch the clip again. This time around, I want you to try and watch it more carefully. The first thing she did <clears throat> was the number one principle I taught you. Connect. Connect. So you're going to watch it and see where she connected. <clears throat> All right? So you're going to watch it again and see where she connected. I wrote a lot of things here myself because she was just mixing all those things together. And you can see the the what's it called now the the is it resistance that's not what they call this thing um <clears throat> no uh, the objection yeah the objection of the woman is about what price do you remember do you get it <clears throat> the major objection the woman had was price and that is the number one objection that your prospect we always have every other thing is secondary the primary is price, but customers are liars. The fact that they said they can't afford it doesn't mean they don't have the money or they can't afford it. They just think it was not worth the price. So instead of telling you it's not worth it, some don't even know it's not worth it. They just assume it is too expensive. And that was how that woman came. So she said, ah, it is nice, but ah, she entered and said, Emma, so but don't say but. Don't you dare say but. <laughs> now, 
The woman doesn't know the pocket capacity of the mother of that girl, but she kept talking as if she knows the pocket capacity till eventually the woman's arms were tied. That was not a logical sale. That was an incredible emotional sale. So I want you all to look at it again. And this time around, for everything they are saying, be writing down the principles you are seeing. All of you that said chewing gum closing, God bless you all. I'm so proud that you all saw chewing gum closing in that place. I'm so, so proud of you guys. Because it means if you could identify it, uh, well, minus those of you who copied all that. So you saw that type chewing gum. You too, you type chewing gum. Minus you. Uh, but those of you who really saw it, <laughs> you are included. So your question is to write out I've already given you the objection. You know the objection already. So write out as many copywriting principles used by the seller of that clothes on that particular clip. All right. So you're going to use, you're going to write it down. That is your assignment. Or that's your classwork. All right. So let's take the movie back a bit and then we'll take it again. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's have it. Are you ready? It's King of Boys part one, not the part two, but the part one. All right, so let's do this. This is the one I was telling you about, man. It will make you stand out well, well. It's very pretty, mommy, see? Mm, yes, it's fine. But, ah, oh my God. Please, let's look at something. Emma, sorry, Emma, sorry. You can't tell me in my jet. Just tell God it is done. Are you the bride? Yes, ma. <laughs> All right, that was the connection. Did you see it? That was the connection. <clears throat> she says, Are you the bride? And then she hugged and kissed her. At that moment, that lady feels like this is my mother. Like, oh, we're on the same page. And all that. So I want you to just see that connection point. So I'm not going to interfere again. Please watch in peace. Mm. A beautiful. I see. I mean, a lot more fresh away too. Another thing, when you are connecting with your with your prospects or customer or reader, let them feel important. <clears throat> you are beautiful. Oh my God. All right, so there's a way you take people. You know, I told you closing is a process. You have to take someone through the process where a yes becomes inevitable. <clears throat> All right, so there's a way you get people down. There are some people that have so much influence and respect over you, you can't say no to them. All right, so you, your job as a copywriter is within the period of communication to take yourself to that level in that person's life that saying a no to you becomes so difficult, so, so impossible, so difficult. All right, see how this woman just did that. Let's take it back a little bit. All right. We used to have people outside. All the way down the street, mom. Are you okay? <clears throat> oh, no, I'm tired. I'm done for the day, baby. Yeah, really? Let's take money, share it among them for the transportation and food. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry, Mama, I'll handle it. Thank you, baby. This is the one I was telling you about, man. It will make you stand out well, well. It's very pretty, Mommy. See, mm, yes. It's fine, but ah, oh my God! Please, let's look at something. Emma, so Emma, so Emma. You cut off with Emma, Jack. You cut off with Emma. You cut off with Emma. Well, I'm going to go. Just tell God it is done. Are you the bride? <laughs> yes, ma. <laughs> hey. Oh, mm. beautiful. Ah, I see. I mean, a lot more interesting wedding. She be a corny. You cut the match, and you pay a jack and one dozen more. We pay. Okay, 
Can you come closer, my darling? Mm -hmm. Umafim, come closer. Come closer. Beautiful hands. <laughs> They're writing it down <laughs> as you are so, saying it. Please, Aaron is through. Mm. Wow. Sherry. Yeah, take them to feed the Aaron. Sherry, Sherry feeling it. beautiful. Sherry got handmade, <laughs> Lily. Bukun Koteri. Features. And the show on the two. I know what we're giving you. Sweetheart, do you like it? Yes, ma. It does really make my skin pop. Oh my God! Can you see the woman smiling now? Oh, 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 can you please go into my office? Uh, when I'm done with my customer, I meet you in a minute. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ah, oh, she'll come. Kill us all. Eh, 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 <laughs> Story. No. Hmm. <laughs> Five percent, Irene. Madam Mukuru, I will take it off. Thank you so very much, Madam. You see, I didn't. Did you see how she made the offer and link it to a story? I mean, from a story to the offer. So she identified with the woman the fact that they want to do wedding, and then link it to say, ah, she has two children. One needs husband. One needs wife. She's praying that what is happening to you is her own prayer point. And because of that, he's going to sow. Can you see how she's taking that woman to a level where it's becoming so impossible for her to say no? I mean, like, for her to say no, I'm not buying means I don't want your children to get married. <laughs> so she's putting her in such a corner that is so tight. Let's just watch this. I'm expecting to spend that money. Hmm. <laughs> Money POS, no money POS, breathing machine. Money, this place, Sherry shop with Ellen. Come in, a muck on top of our wind. Just make her happy. Make her happy. Thank you. Call to action. Yes, yeah, very easy to <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Lola Day. Well POS done. is well the done. CTA. I pray you enjoy it. Enjoy your long my fish of fun. Fantastic, but unfortunately, I have to leave you. I need to attend to the other guests. Ineka, the show and bag, don't forget to show them. What did he just do? We show and bag. Who we'll gets it? Who we'll can get it? Upset. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Up freaking sell. Amazing. She just upsold them. <laughs> we show them back. So it means you can't wear that clothes without showing back. You need to show back. You need to show back to go with it. So that's incredible. So please write down all that you have seen in that particular uh, clip. So who can help me analyze now? Oh, everybody drop your hand and raise it again. <laughs> drop your hand. Drop, 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 drop. Drop, 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 drop. Everybody just drop, drop first, drop first, drop first. Aisha, drop. Drop it. Drop it, Aisha. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, if you want to analyze, now raise the hand. Thank you. Uh -huh. So... Okay, so I'm going to start with Rosemary this time. Rosemary, I hope you can put on your camera too. All right. Okay. Yeah, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, so first of all, she made them. She made uh, them have fans. By the way, she she hugged the girl, and you know, she was just she was just hyping her. Yeah. Made the girl. Godfrey, I like your point. Once in a lifetime. Thank you, Godfrey. Go ahead. So from there, she made a connection with them, you know, trying to put, uh, make it look like they are both, she and them are both in the same situation. Now the woman has gotten what she's praying for. 
So the woman should be happy and everything and not, um, and not limit her happiness. And then also she, she made a point of trying to make the woman look, uh, think of uh, how to present herself to the in-laws, mm -hmm. you know, um, so that when the daughter wears something nice, the in-laws will respect her more, which is what everybody mm -hmm. wants. Yes, the so. Wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, so she does she, what? What was the stuff she she displayed there? Know your... Know your what, uh, you know. Like, know your customers. Know your customers, so, yeah. Okay. So from there, she made an irresistible offer, you know, yeah. by, by taking off. Okay, first of all, okay, she made, she did, before she made the offer, she tried to make them, made the girl see herself in that, uh, in that clothes, uh, chewing gum clothing. Yeah. To feel it on your skin, you know, and then, then the girl also validated it and the mother was in a corner as it, as it were. So... And with the resistance of the price, she gave a discount and then made it easy for the woman to pay. She asked POS. Yes. So from there, she, you know, she upsold them and the woman cannot say no. Yeah, fantastic. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get another person to do another analysis. Um, Gandhi, you said they have taken your point already, so I don't need to call you. Uh, let's have Aisha. Aisha, where are you? I should still call you. You still have points. I thought they have taken your point. <laughs> All right, oh, see my student on that class, on that hairdo. This is what they call seriousness. So when this lady is buying, uh, what they call this name of this car now, somebody should not be doing something. All right, please go ahead. All right, so first of all, um, she took their power. She didn't make it uh, concerning the price. When they were complaining about uh, the price, so she asked for more, asked for more. Means, no, it's not your fault that the price is. So she did that, but she connected with the company. We can't hear you. Network is very unfriendly. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Network is very unfriendly. Oh. Aisha, I think we have to call someone else for now. <coughs> All right. Um, Gandhi, let me call you before you appear in my dream. Okay. Um, one of the things I can actually say in the summary is that it was totally emotional because for almost three to five minutes, she made the woman feel so emotional. After she was talking about the price, then she now spoke something in Europe and she said, if you have all the money in this world and you don't spend it on your daughter, what is your gain? So that also was one of the points that stood out for me. After she made her, she made the woman her fan, the way she kissed the girl, she hugged the girl, and the flattery was, was a way of making um, her to know that she's already a big fan of the couple, even though she has not seen the husband. Then the attention... I could imagine when the on that, I don't know whether that person that came, the man that came was a customer. I don't know whether he was a uh, hair. So the way she just told the way she just told him, oh yeah, go and wait, go and wait, I beg. I am with somebody at least. It will make the woman feel that ah, this woman has my time and she she has really fallen for me. Then she also um brought um the chewing gum offer, which also led to the chewing gum closing. Yes, the chewing gum closing. When she began to put the dress on the girl, I was like, ah, 
this clothes now you will make up for and all that so she already she already started reacting to the lady as if they have already bought the clothes uh-huh. which also led to her upsell <clears throat> which also led to her upsell because whether she has bought the pos or not when she said show them the bags it means that anything concerning clothes or more we don't close this one she don't buy them then the upsell then the promo offer you know when she told her about how that um when the woman brought her ob- objection she u- quickly used the promo offer to make the objection look like it doesn't really exist so she possessed the power of control and every other thing i hope i try okay you try thank you uh there's one last question i'm going to ask and um <clears throat> Who can tell me exactly how she overcame the price objection? How she overcame the price objection? <clears throat> exactly what principle did she use to overcome the price objection? Kathy Craft says um, removing the profits. <laughs> she stacked the value all right that's that's good discounts the promo offer and bonus nope she overcome the price objection by storytelling storytelling to depict what Emotional, thank you. Thank you, emotional value. Emotional value. That was what she focused on. All right, she focused on emotional value. Number one, every mother of the bride would like to show the mother of the groom that they are not poor. You can see this display in wedding party. I don't know those of you who saw wedding party, or if you have known about it, there's always that silly rivalry between the mother of the bride and mother of the groom, kind of. All right. <laughs> so, and then she now said this particular matter, this wedding event is once in a lifetime. She now went ahead to say money is nothing. You can die today. It becomes useless. So why not spend it for this, your daughter? Now, she now made the daughter have so much value in the eyes of the mother by saying, you see what you are doing for your daughter today is my own prayer point. And I'm using your daughter as a point of contact. So she turned the daughter to a star. Those of you who are mothers, you know how much you didn't look at the price to buy a dress for your son or your daughter the day she was going to present something in school. That she's going to do that, do a recitation, or do a singing or present something. Most of you left very important meeting to just go there. That day you meet the clothes ready and all of that. I remember my common entrance. My mom went through everything to buy me a new uniform, a new canvas, uh, sneakers. We used to call the canvas there. <clears throat> you know, so you know, the more valuable you see your child to be, you can give anything. So she knows that and she quickly tied her in. So emotional that it was difficult to say no. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so that's the first one. Let's go to the number two clip. We have two clips we are going to. We're going to go through this second clip. I'm not sure if there is a um, subtitle on it, I hope. So you have to you have to do best to <coughs> I think there might be. I'm not sure. I hope there is. But I want you to pay attention to this second one. Yeah, she later told the mother, okay, fantastic, <clears throat> fantastic. So this second one, I want you to watch it very, very carefully as well. And then I'm going to ask you what you learned from it. 
This second one, I've actually taught you before. I've mentioned it before, it's an incredible one, but I wanted to look at it carefully. Please, as you are watching your bio and your paper, make sure you are writing, all right? So let's do this. This one is Hollywood, not Nollywood. <laughs> all right, here we go. She's some kind of newspaper columnist. Comes in there once in a while. Great temper. What's her journey? Usually beer. Tonight. Know your customer. Dirty. <laughs> know your customer. Know your audience. Know your prospect. Okay. Hi. What's this? I noticed your glass was getting a little low, so I took the liberty of bringing you another apple martini. Thank you. And I couldn't help but notice you look a lot like my next girlfriend. What's your name? They call me Chip. Ah, uh, you can't get him to stop? <laughs> that was funny. Listen, Chip, I, I understand the courage it takes to walk across the room and try to generate a relationship out of thin air. So don't take the following personal. You have fantastic eyes. <laughs> Thanks. Try to listen. Uh, but this is no reflection on you. I'm just not interested. But thank you for the compliment of coming over. You're welcome. So do you like Cuban food? <laughs> Chip, seriously, that was not code word. I wish you'd try harder. Are you always so shut down and afraid that the right man might make you feel like a natural woman? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late, honey. I couldn't get a cab. Uh, how was the meeting? Oh, well, there was a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Nice to meet you, Chip. That was lead magnet right there, connecting with your customers. I don't know, why am I analyzing it for you? You do it yourself. <laughs> you too. Now, on the one hand, it is very difficult for a man to even speak to someone that looks like you. But on the other hand, should that be your problem? Life's kind of hard all around. What if you pay attention? I mean, you're sending all the right signals. No earrings, heels under two inches, your hair is pulled back, you're wearing reading glasses with no book, drinking a great goose martini, which means you had a hell of a week and a beer just wouldn't do it. And oh if that God. wasn't clear enough, it was always the fuck off that you have stamped <laughs> on your forehead. Because who's going to believe that there's a man out there that can sit down beside a woman he doesn't know and genuinely be interested in who she is, what she does, without his own agenda? Yeah, I wouldn't even know what that would look like. So what would a guy like that say? Well, he'd say, my name is Alex Hitchens and I'm a consultant. But she wouldn't be interested in that because she'd probably be just counting the seconds until he left. Thinking he was like every other guy. Which life experience has taught her is a virtual certainty. Mm -hmm. But then he'd ask her name and what she did for a living. And she might blow him off. Or she might say. <laughs> I'm Sarah Milas. I run the gossip column at the stand. And then he'd ask all these penetrating questions about it because he was sincerely, if atypically, interested. No. No. He'd be interested. But he'd see that there was no way he could possibly make her realize that he was for real. Well, he could be funny and charming and refreshingly original. Wouldn't help. Don't you hate it when that happens? Not really. They both probably go on to lead the lives they were headed toward. And my guess is they'd do just fine. It's a pleasure to have met you, Sarah Milas. Great from the gentleman you just left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have goodness. <laughs> Who followed that? <laughs> oh, have goodness. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I said with me to say bye bye. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> there are so, so much lessons in this clip I just played for you. There are so, 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 so much. 
is the guy is bad that you are looking at Lawrence. <laughs> you are looking at the sales principle, the copywriting technique that he used. Oh my god. Uh, the typing, typing, typing didn't let me see what <laughs> the translation. <laughs> hmm. Know your customer, become a fan, lead magnet, offer. Now, what do I mean by lead magnet? Will Smith was able to broker a conversation with that lady because he appeared as someone who was going to help her out of the other guy who was already constantly a nuisance in her life. So he appeared to help her do something. That's why I said lead magnet. So one of the best ways to sell to strangers is to give them something for free, is to do something for them, is to give something that they find valuable to them. That's the first way to sell to strangers, first way to connect with strangers, the first way to bond with them, all right? <clears throat> Using hypothetical scenario to get the prospects got down. Yeah, <laughs> they're talking about a third party personality while they were talking about themselves. So it's all about holding a conversation and being able to generate interest in the person you are trying to talk to uh, know your audience. You'd notice that I did a very, very thorough research about her. And one thing, this has worked for me back in the days when we used to, you know, don't tell anybody. But when you pay attention to the minutest detail about a lady, you bring down a guard. Ladies love it when a guy can show them that I know you, I pay attention to you. You have my attention. Number one need of a lady really is attention. Most of them are just denying it. <clears throat> it's number one need. Because even when they were made, they say your desire will be towards a man, towards your man. So for those who are still looking for man, their, their, their desire is going towards any man. So understanding that point and being able to pay attention to how their nails look, and just you know to the minutest detail about the lady automatically brings her guard down and she listens to you she takes you serious <laughs> all right it is very important why do you think ladies fight you because you forgot their birthday you are just friends you forgot my birthday means every other thing you have done in the past i have not seen it it never happened that you forgot my birthday means you're a wicked person, you hate me, you want to kill me, you don't care about me. I mean, they will start to say all kinds of stuff because you forgot birthday. That tiny little detail that you forgot is a big deal. So some guys, they really want to uh, sweep their lady off their feet. They act like they forgot the lady's birthday. So they go to work. But the lady kept wondering, she, she forgot my birthday, but only for her to get home. The guy has arranged everybody in the lady's life to gather and, you know, plan a surprise party. He has bought a, a what they call it, dream car that she has been thinking and talking about for years and he's acting like he didn't hear. You know, he has done everything. I'm practically sounding like I'm confessing my past sin here, but, you know, I hope you didn't understand what I just said. So at the end of the day, the lady just came and like, oh, he remembered. Oh, my God. So something like that. So you connect <laughs> with a customer just the way you connect with the lady by being more or less like connecting to, okay, let me give you an example. Those of you who go to church or watch all these prophetic stuff that is rampant in Africa now, the guy will start to say, you are a man, you are wearing clothes. How do I know? Celebrate grace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing you at Eba this morning. I'm seeing this and this and this. What is the preacher or the prophet prophet trying to do? He's trying to connect with the prospect because the prospect is a prospect. At the end of the day, we'll bring prophet offering. So, <laughs> so he's trying to connect with that particular person by saying things that the person had not told the prophet before. So the more prediction the prophet got right about you, the more down your guard is. So anything he tells you is your problem, you will believe it. 
when he prays for you and say, you see that problem is over, you will believe it. Why? Because he has been able to connect with you so much by saying things that are true about you. So when you're writing a copy and you are putting things that are true about the reader. The reader is just saying, ah, how does this person know this is my problem? How does this person know this is what I'm going through? It becomes difficult for the person to get off your copy or not to take the action you want them to take, all right? So it's very, very important. How can you write a copy to me? And it's gonna also be relevant to Felix and every other person that have something in common with me. It's simply by researching us. The more you research us, the more you know about us, and the better you can write. Remember, I said before you write a copy, you do research, all right? The research is very, you don't just carry by where I say, all right, many people today are looking for job. No, 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 don't do that. That's an amateur. You must know who exactly are you writing to? What are their pain points? List it. What are the things that they really wish they could take away? You know, what are these, their experiences? Have they been scammed before? Have they, have they gone for interviews before? Can you now say, one thing I know about you reading this is the fact that you have gone for job interviews before, but you were not selected. Anyone who reads, it's not all the people who read that copy that that will be true for. But for anyone who reads it and have gone for job interview and was not selected, will say, hey, he knows that about me. Let me read more. Are you following what I'm saying? So that is the best way to connect when you know about your prospect, all right? So that was the, the stuff that he did and he was able to connect incredibly with her. So the first thing he did was to look for the right moment. And the right moment was when he found a problem in the lady's life. And the immediate problem was there's a toaster who refused to go. Even when the lady was giving him a lot of that, most of us are like that first guy. Most of us are like that first guy when you're trying to sell, all right? And you get into that big, big, big mess, all right? Get into that big mess. Uh, like that guy also got into the big mess. So it's very important. So I want you all to, for the first clip and the second clip, Please make a note. I want you to go through it again. Uh, this is recorded. You'll be able to watch everything again and write all those things down. You can use the principle of how they did it to write a copy to sell any of your pending products. Major product is LEP right here. So, but use it to write an incredible copy for what you want to sell, all right? So um, let's get into today's class right away. Um, I think I'm the one recording today, so I'm going to end this year and then start afresh. Uh, Gift, are you here? Coach Gift? Yeah, I think he's online, but I can't see. It. I'm here, so I'm here. All right, thank you. Let me look for you. So I can in I have found you. <clears throat> All right, so over to you. Uh, let's quickly wrap up this afternoon session and prepare for the evening session. All right.